The United States is encouraging migrants to apply for asylum in other countries before trying to come to the U.S. But what does that mean for the surge of migrants who have been gathered at the Mexican border for months? Our D.C. Bureau Chief Ben Kennedy is live at the White House following it all for us. Ben. Nicole and Calvin, there's a major backlog of migrants trying to get into the country. Let's take you live to El Paso, Texas, to the U.S.-Mexico border. That is where officials are bracing for a surge of people at this hour after Title 42 expired. Our message has been very clear. The White House responding to pushback when it comes to new rules put in place at the border after Title 42 expired overnight. A pandemic era policy that allowed the country to turn migrants away, citing concerns over COVID-19. On Friday, the ACLU and other immigration advocate groups filed a legal challenge to a new Biden administration rule that makes it harder to claim asylum. First, migrants will be required to have applied for and been denied asylum in a different country before turning to the U.S. And if the new rules aren't followed, migrants can face removal and even a five-year ban. We got a robust plan in place to humanely manage the border through enforcement, deterrence, and diplomacy. A federal judge also temporarily blocked parts of the new plan, barring agencies from releasing migrants before they've been given a notice to appear in court. It comes amid overcrowded facilities with more than 26,000 in custody and as cases remain backlogged. This is a harmful ruling and the Department of Justice is considering our options. And a live look at the U.S.-Mexico border where officials say they were prepared for the worst. As right now, they've seen around 10,000 encounters over the last two days as the National Guard and U.S. troops have been deployed to the area as backup if needed. Reporting live at the White House, Ben Kennedy, Local 10 News. Okay, and we stay in Washington.